Now we'll focus on Angela. Angela is the one student of our four that is actually on the other side of the street, so to speak, the second spinning world that we talked about earlier. She's in the pro-tech side. So we can find her curriculum. Remember, she wanted nursing. We'll go to professional technical. And over here on the upper left, it says program list. Let's click there. And then you'll notice all of the professional technical programs offered at Pierce are listed here in alphabetical order. So if we click on nursing, it brings up their home page. And then we see over on the side, there's several credentials that they do offer. But let's just go straight away to her associate degree in nursing. And now here is what the professional technical curriculums look like. Notice it's not presented in a grid formation, but rather a very prescriptive list of classes with the credits required down the right side there. And then it provides a space there where you can track what quarter the student's taking it, what their grade was, etc. If we pay attention, though, over here, notice we're seeing what their prereqs are. And the nursing program lists them accordingly as minimum qualifications. We've talked before about distribution. We've talked about prereqs. We've talked about sequence. But please note, too, here at the very top of the curriculum sheet, it states very clearly that these classes must be completed with a grade of three point or higher within the last seven years from the date of the student's application. Different programs may have entrance requirements like this, and nursing is probably one of the most selective. But this is a good example that pro-tech programs sometimes have very specific requirements to that program. If we look here then at the prereqs, that are listed, the biology 241, 242, and so on, we're noting that there's really a handful of classes on um, the appearance here that a student would take to apply to the program. But what we don't see are the prereqs again to 241, for example, or chemistry 121, or psych 200. In fact, all of those classes have prereqs. You now know how to spot those using the degree and course information system that we've reviewed for Leon, for Chris, and for Emma. The same tool can be used for any class here at Pierce College. So calling up her ed plan and using again the assumption that we're starting with the same set of scores to get Angela in line for her nursing prereqs, she's going to be taking very similar sequence to what we saw with Leon. She will start off with Math 54, with her English 101, and 110. Second quarter, she will be taking her Math 96. She will be looking at probably taking the Psych 100, which is the prereq to the 200, and then perhaps another class that she may take, or maybe those two. And then she will go on after she successfully completes Psych 100. She's going to plan on her Psych 200. She will be taking her Math 146, which is the statistics class, and so on. She will be sequencing her classes according to, of course, her curriculum prereqs.